Now to get I'll just sort of show you where we are now on our circuit diagram. Once it gets back in focus. So what we have is the two small yellow wires I showed you are just here and here. Alright. So what I'm going to do now is I haven't forgotten by the way that I have to ground my first NAND gate, which I will do. I will do that at the very end. Uh, where is it? Sorry, here. I'll do that at the very end. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to join the output of NAND gate 1 to the input of NAND gate 2 and vice versa. So let's do that. So the output of NAND gate 2 is here. Okay. And this wire here is the input into is one of the inputs into NAND gate number one. So I'll join them. Like so. So it's going from the output straight back into the input, into the resistor, and into that base. So that corresponds excuse me now, that corresponds to let me find it. From here back into here. And its pair goes from the output of this one into the input of this one. So I'll do that. Same again, exact same procedure. Now I'm going to also add in some LEDs just so we know exactly what our outputs are. I might be able to find them. It'd be great if we could find them. Right, oh there they are. Once again, a longer wire for a longer wire for high or for the high line. And where's that second one? Notice that the output of NAND gate one through this green wire is grounded, the output of NAND gate two through this orange wire is grounded. So what I've done there is I just put this LED down to ground, this LED down to ground. So this LED here is Q, this small green LED is not, uh, wrong, this blue LED is not Q, this small green LED is Q, this input into NAND gate number 2 is R or reset, and this input into NAND gate 1 is S for set. And finally what I'm going to do is I'm going to ground the emitter and NAND gate number 1. And now that you should be able to see why I didn't want to do that from the start. So that's going from the emitter here down to ground. So we should be ready to test my uh, RS flip flop. So just to point out as well, I'm using a 9 volt battery here. It's And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug that in. Now it's being a bit painful at the moment, so let's see how things work. Okay, we have two things on. Now, what I didn't mention was that both inputs low is a state that's not allowed for an RS flip-flop. It just, it's not accounted for in its logic. So I didn't put it in here, and if that is the case, if you ever have them, if you have them uh, both low, ignore the output, because it's, it makes no sense, it's a not, a not allowed state. So as you can see, both are on here, for, uh, and that makes no sense. Okay, because that's not how the memory works. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to put both high, both inputs high. And I see that my flip-flop has started in a, a state where not Q is high. It just, it's just done that, and I wouldn't pay any attention to how it, it's gone from a state that's not allowed into a state that is allowed, and has chosen which state to go into. So it's currently in this state, sorry, in this state here, whereby S is high, and R is high, and Q is low and not Q is high. So the point is, by keeping these both high, I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to change the output, which is exactly what's happening. This is staying high when both are high. So now I'm going to I'm going to write to my flip flop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, Q, which is my memory bit, high, by going S low then S high. So let me do that. As you can see, I've written to Q and not Q has gone low and look if I keep changing that it may, it's making no difference to the output it's always it's remembering that the uh, the value has gone into it 
So it's now a high value and it's remembered. It's, re it's remembered the value. Now, in order to change the value, make that a low bit or reset my flip-flop, I will go as follows. I will go R from low to from high to low to high again. And what will happen is Q will go low, not Q will go high. Now unfortunately, yeah, just this 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 uh, LED is a bit. It, it's it, the power on is slightly different than the other one, so that's why it's flashing. But as you can see, Q is isn't going on at all. So I, I can't see another smaller LED I can use. Really, I'll try this red one just for the crack, just to see if this works. And this is just I have no idea if this is going to work now. No, shouldn't have done that. I'll try one last one. that didn't work either. So this blue one seems to be the best bet for some reason. I don't know exactly what that is. I've obviously made an error somewhere. Oh look, and now that is not lighting for me. <laughs> anyway, the point is, it should still work. So I'm going to write to S. No, I'm not writing to S anymore. And uh, Oh, there it is there. Now, so, it's, key, it's remembering and I swap it. Now I know this isn't coming on, but it's still working. It's still oh, now it's kind of coming on there. This is just my my kit. I wouldn't worry about it. And to write back in, I make S low and then high again. And that's how you make an RS or reset flip flop.